hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome as well in today's video we are going to learn how to cut this pants trouser so if this is something that interests you consider to watch this video to the very end please subscribe to my youtube channel like this video share this video so that others can watch so let's move right into the tutorial so i have two yards of crepe fabric here okay and i'm going to fold it into two now the length i'm working with is 44 you need half an inch at the waist that's 44 and a half you need one and a half inch as the um aiming allowance that makes it 46. now because i'll be needing a band at the waist so i'm going to deduct two inches from 46 and i will have 44 so that means the length of the trouser is going to be 44 now for you to need know how much you need to fold you are going to need um half of your tie plus two inches is going to determine how much you need to fold so what i have on fold now is 17 inches so right here i have marked out the waistline and then i also mark out the half an inch stitching allowance above so you are going to be taking your measurements your vertical measurements like so now when you are taking your vertical measurements make sure you place your two inches band you place it below your seam allowance okay place that two inches below like so and from there you are going to take your hip line so the hip line i'm working with is nine inches and the crotch i'm working with is 13 so for you to get your crotch just divide your hip divided by four Whatever you have is going to be your crotch measurement. You can now decide to minus one inch from it if you want. But for this, our hip is 42 divided by 4. I have 13. And I'm going to be working with the 13. So after marking 13, the next thing is to mark the tie line. So for the tie line, just measure 3 inches below your crotch line. Okay? Measure 3 inches below your crotch line to get your tie line so once that is done go ahead and connect all of the lines together now the next thing is to mark my knee line i forgot to do that so i'm going to do that now so the knee line where you are placing your band um, allowance upward the knee line i'm working with is 24 inches so i'm going to mark 24 inches like so now the next thing is to mark the quarter of the hip now because this material is stretchy i did not add any seam allowance to this front i'm going to be adding the seam allowance to the back so if you're adding seam allowance make sure you mark out your seam allowance at this folded part first before taking this measurement i want to take right now okay so right here the measurement i'll be taking now is the quarter of the hip and the quarter of the hip is 13 inches and the 13 inches is going to be stopping at the crotch line okay i'm going to mark the 13 inches at the crotch line hip line and at the waistline then connect everything together so once you are done connecting to get our crouch extension the crotch extension what you do is that 13 inches we mark here divide it by four whatever you have is going to be your crotch extension so what i have after dividing this is three and quarter I hope you understand so i'm going to mark three and quarter here so this is what i have here so the next thing is just connect everything together now from this point i will go in out by one inch then go ahead and connect this it's just like you're connecting your ham hole okay so once that is done you're going to mark the overall you have the overall of what you have around your crotch line okay and what i have here is 16 and a half now divide that 16 and a half into two to get your midpoint because we are going to be needing this midpoint to uh shape the trouser okay so 16 divided by two place it this way now go ahead and start marking the midpoint the midpoint which will also serve as your dart line okay so mark it up to the hem of your trouser so once that is done connect everything together so like i said the midpoint is also going to serve as our trouser that so go ahead and mark half an inch on both sides of your trouser and the length of the dart is also the length of the dart is going to be four inches for the front but for the back is going to be four and half okay so right here i'm marking half an inch on both sides and the length is going to be four inches just as i've explained before then go ahead now and connect all of your dots 
together so once you are done connecting the dots i'm going to be taking the waist the quarter of the waist measurement and the waist measurement i'm working with is 42 inches divided by four will give me 10 and a half plus the half an inch on both sides of the dart that's one inch so i'm going to be marking 11 and a half okay so 11 and a half is going to be the waist measurement so this mark here now is going to be our center mark remember that when you put on your trouser this line is going to fall at the center so when you want to shape your waist you're going to be taking the measurement from here same thing as your hip okay i hope you understand same thing as your hip so my hip is still the same which is 13 so the next thing i'm going to do now is to connect the waist to the hip line i hope you understand i'm going to connect the waist to the hip line so after connecting the waist to the hip line the next thing is to shape the next thing is to shape our tie our round tie now the round tie i'm working with is 31 so 31 divided by 2 will give me 15 and a half now the 15 and a half i'm going to share it on both sides of this midpoint remember i said we need our midpoint to shape this trouser okay so 31 divided by 4 the 31 divided by 2 will give me 15 and a half and 15 and a half divided by 2 whatever you have you're going to put it on both side of your midpoint now around the knee you are going to determine how wide you want so i'm going to be using the hip measurement to determine the knee um the knee measurement here because this is a palazzo pants it's not going to be tight so i'm going to be using a hip measurement you can reduce the hip measurements by one if you want so but i'm just going to be using a hip 13 so 13 divided by two is going to be six and a half so I'm going to place six and a half on both sides of the midpoint. And whatever I insert at the knee is what I'm going to insert at the hem of the trouser. Like I said, you can now reduce your hip measurement by one and then use it at your knee. It totally depends on what you want. Now, if you want a fitted trouser, you want your knee, your knee area to be tight, then you need to measure your round knee and your round ankle if you want your ankle. Your, round ankle to be tight and you want your round knee to be tight but this is a palazzo pant so it is not meant to be tight so i'm going to connect all the points together and this is what i have so the only part i'm going to be adding half an inch allowance to is around the crotch area okay that's the only part i'll be adding half an inch allowance to so once that is done i'm going to cut the trouser i'm going to be cutting it out once i'm done marking this So go ahead and notch the dart area so that when you're cutting, you know where to notch. So the next thing is I'm going to use this front to cut out the back. So the next thing now is to fold the back pattern into two. You're going to fold it into two. Then you place one of the front leg. You place it at the back. Okay, just place it this way. So once you are done placing it, you see this midpoint line we have here. Mark it whatever you have divide it into two so the midpoint line i have from the center line is four and a half so after dividing by two i have two and quarter so i'm going to mark the two and quarter like so so after marking the two and quarter you go to where you have your crouch extension remember the three and quarter we have here you're going to mark it above this line now it not depends on you if you don't want to use the all you can just reduce it by either half an inch or by one inch so for this particular trouser i used two and a half instead of three and quarter so i'm going to be placing i'm going to be placing two and a half at the at the top where i divided the midpoint okay so that part that line that i'm i'm, I'm marking right now is going to be the back center line that's going to be the back center line you can see it's not the same as the front now we are going to mark the overall measurement we have at the waist which is 11 and a half and i'm going to be placing it at from the top of the uh center back and when you are placing it there it's going to be in a slanted form it's going to be slanted just watch the way i'm going to be placing my tape it's going to be slanted so once you slant it you are going to mark the 11 and a half out here 
also extend the waistline okay you're going to extend the waistline and once you are done you're going to have something like this go ahead and connect the line it's going to be slanted connect it together like this okay it's very easy now around the crotch line the the actual crotch line come down by half an inch you can see the actual crotch line come down by half an inch and i'm going to be marking one and quarter i'm going to be marking one and quarter out from the crotch line so after marking one and quarter every other part i'm going to be marking one inch on every other part every other part of the trouser is going to be one inch remember i did not have any stitching allowance to the front so all my allowance is going to be at the back okay so you are going to be marking one inch on every other part of the trouser and once you are done marking it go ahead and connect the marks together now on the other side of the back trouser you're also going to be marking one inch on the other side as well you also mark one inch at the waist remember that we've not added any allowance to the waist at the back so now you need to add the one inch to the waist at the back as well and when you are done go ahead and connect everything together so after connecting together you're going to come to this diagonal point here okay this diagonal point from there you're going to be marking two inches you're going to be marking two inches diagonally from this point here so after marking that two inches you are going to connect the two inches to the crotch line connect these two inches to the crotch line so after you have connected the two inches to the crotch line the next thing you are going to do is to also connect it to the waistline at the back just watch what i'm doing you will understand go ahead and connect it to the waistline so once you're done connecting to the waistline you should have something like this now you're going to be marking one inch zipper allowance since i'll be adding my zipper allowance to the back right so you're going to be marking one inch zipper allowance and my zipper is going to stop around nine inches okay so every other part of the crouch is going to be half an inch just like i did to the front now if you don't want to add zipper allowance to the back it's totally fine just add only half an inch stitching allowance to the back and then you're going to be adding your zipper to the side it totally depends on what you want so this is all for how to cut a trouser this is the easiest way i've been doing my trouser easiest and the perfect way i've been doing my trouser right now i'm doing about five of this trouser in different styles okay so just make use of this um this pattern i'm just showing us now so for the bag that is going to be four and a half inches long this um waist seam allowance is not included okay the length for the back that is four is four and a half and for the front is four inches you're also going to be taking half an inch on both side of your back that as well then go ahead and connect just everything we did to get the that at the front is what you also do at the back okay this is very easy so once you are done go ahead and cut out your trouser okay i'm going to be cutting everything out and after cutting the next thing is to take this to my sewing machine and start sewing everything together so once i'm done stitching the that i'm going to be cutting the um the material i'm going to use for the band so go ahead and notch your that just like we did at the front now because the allowance i'm using is one inch at the back so when you are stitching these two together when you are stitching the front and back together you're going to be using half an inch to stitch both sides together so this so is the band i'll be using for both the front and back the width is five inches by the time you fold it into two you have two and a half remember two inches is going to be the band and the half an inch is for stitching allowance so i've also joined the darts for the front and i've joined the two front pieces together the same thing at the back i've stitched the dart and i also joined the two back pieces together this is how i love to join my trouser i always join the back and front separately so now you're going to place the front pattern you place it on the back pattern so what i will go and do now is to stitch it at the side now i'm going to be leaving about one inch at the waist 
okay i'm not going to stitch completely around the waist so after stitching at the sides i'm going to be stitching the lower part as well okay so once you are done stitching the lower parts the next thing is to fix in the band after fixing the band i'm going to fix in the zipper and then i'm going to finish the hem of the trouser so right here i'm done stitching my trouser you can see the band i've stitched the band and you can see the opening i left around the waist area which i'm still going to close once i'm done i've stitched the sides by half an inch i've stitched the lower parts and then i also stitched the hem of my trouser now this is the waist area so the opening i left around the waist was to enable me to join my band to the front and back because i love stitching my band for the front separately and the band for the back separately so once i'm done now i'll go and stitch the opening at the side and the trouser is ready this trouser is for a plus size person so the next thing is just for me to finish up all the rough edges inside this trouser and also high on it and that is and the trouser is ready so this is the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please consider to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done that like this video also share this video so that others can watch this tutorial i will see you guys in my next video bye